Local Jeep News, National Jeep News, and news from around the world. It's This Week in Jeep. And this week in Jeep is brought to you by Amazon.com. The holiday buying season is in full effect. So as you go buying gifts online this year, be sure to use our link first, jeeptalkshow.com slash Amazon. They've agreed to give us a tiny percentage of what you spend to help support the show. So remember, when you're buying gifts online this year, use jeeptalkshow.com slash Amazon first. We want to give a uh, big shout out to those truck drivers out there. You know, those who pilot those big rigs, semis, 18 wheelers, long haulers, lorries, Thanks for listening for hours on hours on those long, lonely drives, fellas. Really appreciate it. Well, there's been some new spy shots of the Jeep Scrambler JT leaked this week in a fourth quarter blitz leaked of, of leaked info and spy photos. We get another shot to the face with some new looks at the long-awaited Jeep Wrangler-based pickup that has been years in the planning. We find out this week the new Jeep pickup may actually come with an optional soft top. Early this week, a source with direct knowledge of the design says the Scrambler, like the current and next generation Wrangler, may come with an optional soft top capable of being lowered or removed altogether, making the Scrambler a true soft top open air Jeep. The Scrambler is scheduled to go into production in about a year from now in late 2018 at FCA's Toledo Assembly Complex. It will be built on the same line that assembles the current generation JK Wrangler. While engineering the JL Wrangler, designers had to redesign the roof supports to meet updated roof crush safety regulations for light trucks, which also affects the Scrambler. In 2016, Jeep hinted at a soft top pickup with the Crew Chief 715 concept at the annual Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. That was a year of some amazing concepts out of the Jeep camp. The Scrambler is expected to adopt a number of the Crew Chief 715 styling cues, except for the grill, which is unfortunate is expected to share a more traditional Wrangler look. This is really too bad because I bet there isn't a diehard Jeeper alive that would say that the former is a much better look for the JT.